In this video, I want to show you how to reset an auto number so it doesn't just have to start at 1 each time. Uh, so I'm going to go into the products table here and go into design view. You can see the product ID is an auto number. So uh, if you notice down here it says increment. So that means it's going to start at 1 and go to 2 and then 3 for the next one and so on. You can also make it a random number and it'll make sure that you always get a different number there. But when we do increment it really does start at 1. I'm going to close that window, and uh, in this case, I don't have to save that. So, if I go into the products table, let's say in this case, uh, we are selling um, food and, and beverages and things like that. So, let's say we'll say um, a product is a 10-ounce steak. And you can see how it made the product ID number one. I'll pick a supplier over here. And let's say we'll pick a category. All right. And then I'll come down here to product, uh, the second uh, record. And let's say we're going to have um, chicken breast. And uh, we'll pick a supplier over here. And we'll pick uh, a category over here. So you can see how the first records ID became number one and the second one became number two. I'm going to close that window. So what if you really wanted to start that at number 3000? Uh, let's use that as an example. You're going to make a weird little query uh, and the query can uh, actually change the auto number. So I'm going to pick on the create menu and we're going to come over to uh, query design. And then we'll pick on the products table. Actually, uh, that's not correct. You're, you're actually going to uh, don't pick any table in the beginning. Just leave it as a blank query. Uh, now, you're going to make it into an append query. Uh, so that's going to be the key step. You're going to make it into an append query. And then here is where you pick the, pro uh, the products table or the table that's in question. All right, so I'll click on OK. Now, you want to pick the field here that is the field that is the auto number. So in this case, where it says append to, uh, we're going to pick on the product ID. And then up here on the field row, you type in the number that you want to start the order number at. So let's say I want to type, start it at 3000. Okay? So you really make this query an append query. You append it to the table whose order number you want to change. Down here where it says append to, you pick the actual field that is the order number. And then here on the field row, you um, put the number that you want to start the table at. So at this point, we're going to run the query. And it says we're about to append one row. And that's correct. That's what should be happening. I'm going to pick on yes there. And now that's really the end of the query. Now you can save that query or not. Maybe you have to run that in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And I'll save it. And I'll call this one modify auto number. Now, let's take a look at the products table. Now, notice how um, you do have record 3000 in there. Now, by the way, that's something that you would do even before there's any records there. And I can even show you that it would work with or without a record. So, when I go to the next record, let's say in this case, we're going to also have um, salmon. Notice how salmon became record 3001. You can really delete 3,000 if you wanted to. Uh, it's not that important. But um, the um, notice how salmon started on record 3,001. And let's pick a supply for that. By the way, these are the tables that come with access as the, the Northern uh, database. Maybe you recognize those. So, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, make that uh, seafood. And then the next one. Let's say I also have uh, catfish fillets. And uh, let's say we're going to get that from this supplier over here. And we're going to also make that one seafood. But more importantly, look at the order number. That one's now 3002. Uh, now, I want to demonstrate that you can do this uh, as soon as you make the table. So I'm going to close that window. Now, I'm going to copy the table. And uh, we'll do a copy with a paste. 
but this time it's going to copy the structure only. And I'll call this one uh, new products. So we have the new products table there. Uh, you can see right now it's an empty table. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same kind of query except uh, I'm going to right click on that one and pick on design view. And we're going to make sure that we, uh, when we pick on append, we're going to append it to the new products table. And I'll click on OK. Now let's say I want to start this one at 5,000. So I'll change this to 5,000. And then we're going to run this. <laughs> and it says you're about to append one row. And that's the end of the query. I can close mm -hmm. that and save it. Now if I go to the new products table, notice how it has record 5,000, which we can delete. However, I'm going to go to the new record, and let's say in this case, um, I'm also going to sell broccoli. And then for the supplier, and we'll pick a category. Okay, notice how that record is 5,001. I'm sure if we were to also sell string beans, then that would be 5,002. So it's this interesting little query. It's a little append query. And that is actually how you can reset the order number in uh, a table here in Microsoft Access.